Hey y'all, it's Brie Hall and I'm back with a new video on how I trim my hair. Okay, I was about to trim my hair during quarantine because these ends was looking a little raggedy, all right? So here are the benefits of trimming. Number one, less frizz. Number two, it's easier to detangle fuller hair, healthier hair, less breakage. You remove your knots and split ends and overall, even though you're gonna miss those ends, it's okay, you have to let them go, let it go. All right, so next we're going to unravel each section and shake out our roots so we can get started parting everything. Now this is really, really important. You really wanna shake out those roots so you can easily detangle later. Ooh, y'all, I don't know. I said, I, I kinda like this. I've done Bantu knots a lot smaller before, but I'm kinda, I'm kinda digging this. I don't know how y'all are feeling, but yeah, I take out my last clip, my last section, and then I shake, shake, shake. And then I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out. I'm really considering making this a style. And this is the before of my hair from the very front. And as you can see, there are some see-through fuzzy ends. This is the side profile. Not as bad on the sides, but still will be trimming quite a bit. And then this is the back. I tried my best to detangle, but I really didn't blow dry my hair bone straight at all. So this is the best you guys are gonna see. A lot of my ends are quite see-through. I do still have layers, so that contributes to it. Overall, I want these sections to look thick and healthy. And speaking of thick, you know, just twerk for healthy hair. You know, this is good for your metabolism. I'm just kidding, y'all. All right, so tools that I use. Tool one is some hair shears. You wanna make sure that you have scissors made for cutting hair. Do not, and I repeat, do not. Cut your hair with craft scissors, okay? On the microscopic level, it will do more harm than good. You want a blunt cut to every strand. And then I'm gonna use a fine tooth comb for tension. And this is important, I'll explain later. Now, what do you look for when you're trimming your hair? The line of demarcation. This is a subtle line where your hair goes from thick and not see-through to a little bit sparse, a little bit jagged, a little bit puffier or more tangled, and that is the line of demarcation where you would usually trim your hair. And I'll show you how to find it in an upcoming clip. Now here's what I personally look for when I trim my hair. Culprit number one for why your hair is not fleeky right now is split ends, okay? There is strength in numbers, and when your hair is a unified strand, it is strong, but when it splits, this is what creates breakage, frizz, and all that awful stuff. Number two is single strand knots. The other thing below it, that's just an entanglement, y'all. Shout out, Jada. When you have a tighter curl pattern, you are more prone to single strand knots when the curl curls onto itself, and these little things are awful, okay? Because of the microscopic nature of your hair like thread, these are almost impossible to undo and almost 100% of the time have to be cut out of your hair. It is unfortunate. I, when I see them, I get angry, but it has to be done. Remember how we talked about the line of demarcation earlier? Now here's how to find it. This is where the fine tooth comb comes in. Normally you would never use a fine tooth comb on your hair, but we look for the tension point. This is the point where the comb stops in your hair, even when it's extremely well detangled. So when I trim, I like to trim just a bit above the tension point so that you can really grab those ends. And this helps get your hair thick and full. As you see, a strand just broke off. That is what I mean when I say you want to cut those pieces out. For my hair shape, I have a very simple cutting pattern. So I just section off the back section of my hair the same way you would if you were doing a twist out or any other normal style, about an inch to two inches of hair. And then I detangle my hair very well. This is important so that we can get an accurate tension point on our hair. What you don't wanna do, especially if you have a tighter curl pattern like me, is confuse a simple tangle for damage because that's not good. That's why I like to blow dry my hair. And then I go ahead and preview my length Sometimes we have sections of our hair that grow just a little bit faster than others and that's okay. So then I take one of those sections and I look for the tension point. I run my comb through that section a few times to make sure that it's not tangles again. And once I notice that my comb continuously stops at the same point, I know that's my tension point where I have to trim. And I usually on average trim about a half inch to an inch. Now I have to address the elephant in the room. I might do a story time about this, but it's really simple. That one section you see that's a little bit shorter is a combination of baby hairs and when I took my faux locks out, I accidentally cut my real hair. It was mortifying, but it wasn't a lot. So then I'm gonna repeat everything I did on the next section. Y'all, next time I do faux locks, also just side note, I am definitely going to make sure I get a color that is not exactly the same as my hair. Cause the kind I got was the exact same color and texture. But next we're gonna get into dusting. So dusting is one of my favorite things to do on a regular basis, even when I do twist out. And this is when I fold a section of hair over my finger and I go strand by strand and I just snip any split ends that I see that pop up. 
by folding this hair over my finger, it allows damaged pieces to just naturally pop out. And then I kind of just slide the hair down a little bit more focusing on the lower shaft of my hair. When you just trim at the very ends, you get the longest pieces, but it neglects the pieces that have already either split or broken or grown at a different rate. So this is going to help so much when it comes to detangling. It takes a little bit of extra time, but I promise you guys it's very, very, very worth it because you might give yourself a good trim and still notice like, it's easier to detangle when I get to my ends, but I still meet some resistance in the middle of my hair shaft. This is how I avoid that and get a super duper clean detangling session after I trim. It is worth every second and I really make sure to take my time doing that. And now look at how quickly and easily that brush glides through. I can tell when I did a really, really good job trimming my hair when I can hold a section of hair and 95% of the strands are held at the very ends. Like you see that and it looks thick all the way through. Then I clip away the bottom section and I'm gonna repeat this process, but you don't wanna skip through the video just yet because I do something completely different at the crown of my head that I'm gonna explain in this video as well a little bit ahead of this. So now what you see is me cutting out at a bit of an angle. What this does is it helps me create really, really soft layers towards the bottom of my hair, which I'll gradually increase as I get higher up. In some of the really blunt sections, I might trim downwards against the comb just so I can have some strand separation when everything is happening. And then I go ahead and I just dust between those strands again. This, as you can see, my focus, I may look sad, y'all, but I'm really not, I promise. I'm just really focused because, you know, I wanna make sure that I'm actually only cutting the strand that needs to be cut and I'm not accidentally cutting a section or anything. As you can see, I'm just taking my fingers and pulling the strand that I notice is split or has a single strand knot upwards and out of the pack so that I can easily get it and adjust it. And I'll keep combing through my hair. And if I feel a section that's smaller with some resistance, like I felt this section was a little more damaged than others, I'll go through that section a little bit more fine tuned. And it's good to flip your hair multiple ways when you do this. But look at that. Now the crown of my head is where I have the most layers and I like to have a little bit of a long bang as well. So I'm gonna show you in a diagram how I do that by in the center holding the hair up at 90 degrees and then on the sides holding my hair diagonally. This creates beautiful layers because when you hold your hair diagonally, the top section gets a little bit shorter while the bottom section is cut longer. Now the comb that I have is using a lot of tension on my hair because my hair is very thick and also a little coarse. So if you have thinner or silkier hair, I don't advise like, you know, moving everything around once you find the line uh, as much as I do, but I'm able to do this because of my hair texture. This section was a little thinner, so probably bad example for that, but it's okay. And then once I find that line, um, I will bend my hair whatever direction I need to, and it still comes out perfectly fine. Of course, again, I am not a hairdresser, y'all. Like, this is just what I've been doing for, you know, the past few years, and it's worked out for me because I retain so much length this way. Um, but I do this also, I know some people will ask. I do this every roughly three months, I would say, um, just judging by my last few trims. I did a mini trim before this one, uh, when I have my hair in some plaits where I'll just take any thin pieces and kind of cut them off. Other than that, yeah, I'd say about every three months and I don't have a set amount I trim off every time. It's really, as you've seen, what needs to be trimmed. So if the line of demarcation is literally a, a microscopic fourth of an inch, then that's what I'll trim. You see the concentration? Now we're getting to my bangs and I like to just pull it all forward and cut straight across. And then what I'll also do after that is I'll kind of take those side pieces and still angle them a little more, but I won't do anything extreme. This here is just adding a little dimension to that, that area. And I just do a little mini trim and afterwards I'll go in the bathroom and I'll spot check all of my work. And this is right before I spot check. And this is what the back looks like after. Of course my hair again 
is not brushed out or blow dried completely straight but as you can see when i grab this section it is much thicker there's not as many like see-through ends and it is so easy to detangle if you found this video helpful then definitely definitely give it a thumbs up i appreciate you guys for watching peace out gang gang and i will see you in my next video bye guys Let the guns